Hey, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by. My name is Mr. Muller and I teach 7th grade social studies here at Alma. Let's take a step into the classroom and I'll show you around. So I've been a teacher for about 12 years. I've worked all of my years here at Alamo. I really love what I do. And in this class, in seventh grade social studies, what students really learn about most is uh, American history. We pretty much learn about the foundation of the country, how it got started, starting back with George Washington. You know, a very exciting topic that students love learning about and I love teaching is the American Revolution. This scene behind me of Washington crossing the Delaware is an example of that and one thing that we really study and analyze. Uh, it's a very important war because without it, we wouldn't be the nation that we are today. So a big thing that we learn about in this class, a big portion of it is um, learning about government and how government works. We learn about the Constitution and the Bill of Rights and all that's very important because it, it teaches citizenship and it gives them the knowledge they need to be productive citizens and uh, to learn what their responsibilities are as citizens and overall how our, our legal system works and how government works in general. Another really exciting topic we learn about is the American Civil War. This is one that's one of my favorites. Uh, students love learning about it. I bring in artifacts. We can really look at some of the things that soldiers touched, what they felt. You know, I love finding new ways to engage students and creating an atmosphere that really makes it inviting and one that they can really gain, if not a love for history, at least a deeper understanding and a respect for it as well. As for how students go about learning it, we basically start with a bell ringer question each day that's posted on the board, and then we go into our activity, whatever that might be, and then we close off by discussing whatever it is we're learning about, discussions we do a lot of because students really gain a deeper understanding, and they like to express themselves too. I do weekly assignments for at-home learning. It's usually posted on Monday on Google Classroom, and it is due by midnight on Friday. It's not overwhelming. It's usually something to enrich what we're learning in class, and students can usually get it done in about 30 minutes. All right, so that's that. Thanks for stopping by. If you need anything, shoot me an email. Uh, you can call the school, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Oh, oh, and don't forget, give this video a thumbs up, drop a like and comment. Y'all take care.